Imagine a mixture that is super drink for your plants. It's like a magic potion that gives them everything they need to grow big and strong. When you pour it on your seedlings, they get thicker, sturdier and healthier. It's like a turbo boost for their growth. This special mix is loaded with all the good stuff. Things like nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium, the essentials for plant health. But it doesn't stop there. It's also packed with amino acids, vitamins and hormones that make your plants grow even better. And the best part? You can use it at every stage of your plant's life, from tiny seedlings to fully grown plants. Just give them a dose of this mix and watch them thrive. It's like giving your plants a secret weapon for unstoppable growth. Let's delve into the process of making liquid fertilizer in five gallon buckets. Gather a variety of common weeds such as dandelions, clover or grass clippings. Ensure that the weeds have not been treated with any chemicals. Collect fallen leaves from trees in your vicinity or prune some leaves. Collect suckers of tomatoes. These are the small shoots that grow between the main stem and branches of tomato plants. You can use anything that is available in your garden or kitchen. Here is one thing that will absolutely make your plants healthier and help them produce more fruit. If you're planning to use this liquid fertilizer on tomatoes, incorporate more tomato suckers and leaves. Every nutrient that tomatoes need is obviously available in various parts of the tomato plant. Now, gather a sufficient amount of weeds, tree leaves and tomato suckers. Chop them into smaller pieces using garden shears or a shredder. Smaller pieces will decompose faster and release their nutrients more readily. Pour water into the bucket until the organic materials are fully submerged. Use a stick or shovel to gently stir the mixture, ensuring that all the materials are saturated with water. Cover the bucket with a lid or a piece of fabric to keep out debris and pests. Place the bucket in a warm, sunny spot outdoors. Allow the mixture to ferment for two to four weeks, stirring it occasionally to promote decomposition and nutrient release. About 20 days ago, we made this batch of fertilizer using this same process. Let's talk about applying this smelly but nutrient-dense water to your plants. Dilute the concentrated fertilizer with water before applying it to your plants. The recommended dilution ratio is typically one part fertilizer to 10 parts water, but you can adjust this based on the needs of your plants. Use the diluted fertilizer to water your garden beds, potted plants, or container gardens. Apply it directly to the soil around the base of the plants. You can also apply it directly without diluting it, just give it in a small amount. Creating liquid fertilizer from weeds, tree leaves, and tomato suckers is a simple and eco-friendly way to nourish your garden. By following these steps, you can produce a nutrient-rich solution that will help your plants thrive throughout the growing season. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell to receive new video notifications. Your support is greatly appreciated.